Hello guys and welcome to some Hearts of Iron 4 with the Millennium Dawn mod. We're going to be playing a uh, new game in the 1st of June 2016 start and we are going to be playing as other countries. Um, Austria, Österreich. The goal of my campaign is I want to bring back the Habsburg dynasty. I'm going to attempt to uh, recreate their empire somewhat, which is going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a pain. As you should know, most of these lands here are part of NATO, so we're going to have to try and get around that. And uh, yeah, let's, let's jump straight to it. Already loaded in once to see what the game was about. That's what the ever save is. I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the uh, waiting content. So it's going to be a lot of waiting around while I try to do this. But first episode will be done normally. So we're going to stockpile guns at first. Because, you know, we, we, need, we need guns. We need them. If we need, uh, we need better equipment, we don't need the old shit. We need the new shit. I suppose new guns, uh, support equipment... At some point when I have the factories to do so, um, artillery, sure. Yeah, we're just gonna just gonna do things as as the uh, as the times come. So we don't have any factories at the moment, so we don't need to really worry about that. We do, however, have civilians. So let's just try and uh, bump up Tyrol here. If I get any spare factories, I'll build other shit up where ever. Other areas, but Tyrol can be that for now. I want to take some technology, so let us. Uh, we don't need to learn about guns and things, we need to learn about industry, really. So we'll go ahead and uh, learn some things about the industry. Uh -huh. Encryption, decryption, decryption, encryption, uh, buildings of stations. So everything I want is going to be around here. Okay, let's just fill up. Fill up with these. Uh, construction speed, of course, and we want. Resource gain efficiency. I think we want you. Production efficiency cap. Excellent. We'll leave that there. Unassigned divisions. We'll just uh, group everybody together. There's no issue with that. We'll give them a commander. Oof, my commander. What a fucking name. Oh, who's too far? We have a moustache. Look at these awesome Austrians. Peter Grunewald. Rudolf. Herman. Carl, uh, who am I going to pick to be my main guy? I like Hust. He is a commando. I'm going to just do give them all to uh, Ufma here. We'll get him to simply garrison our our nation. Uh, not not there. We're not part of NATO, so there's there's that. Uh, what am I? I'm a social, a social guy. We're going to want to change that as soon as possible. Uh, so we're going to want to go down uh, ideological focus to uh, try and get towards um, uh, monarchist. We need Karl II to come to power. Is there anything I can do? Uh, Liechtenstein. Can we... Uh... Oh, we need more political power if we're going to justify any war goals. Eritrea and Ethiopia has done something there. These guys done something. Switzerland joins the... Wait, what? Did I just say the... I said you were not EU, didn't it? Yes, they didn't join the EU. Joined the UN. I should maybe pay more attention to things, but what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you really going to do? Is this my uh, is this my entire air force? Let's put them over the Alpine region. They could just fly in the sky. I'm sure they'll be fine. Um. Let me also go about hard. So we want some more fighters. At some point, these are all the things I'm going to eventually need. Transport planes. Oh, perhaps we'll need them to get out. Get out of here at some point. One generation bombers. I do like bombers. Excellent. We'll uh, queue up some bombers. I don't really care for tanks. Motorized. What? What do we actually need? What are these guys? What do they use? Alright, we do have some of you. You are mechanized and light mechanized. We're going to have to change that. I think I have a mod on for cheaper changing of divisions. Whereas you are just guns. Okay. Well, why don't we just take this and switch everyone to a Jaga? Then we'll get, we'll get you to exercise because you are only using guns, yes? Of course. 
Only 3k manpower as well. That's an issue. We need to get these guys a bit stronger. Emergerizer light mechanized. Ah. I like things that look good. So we might have to research through mechanized before we start using them. Because that does not look good. Light mechanized, maybe we can deal with. But we'll, we'll add it to things when the time comes. But for now, it's about getting started with the ideologies. As we play as the Oosterreich. Am I, am I pronouncing it right, my Eastern friends? Easter Eastern Easterreich. Well, we need to, uh, we need to get, get our lands together and... You know, they are, don't just seem to be part of NATO. It's unacceptable. Bosnia is not, so maybe we could land over there. And Serbia, I think most of that was part of our empire. We'll, we'll go a bit batshit crazy. But it's going to be an issue to try and... Uh, deal with NATO, but I'm, I'm sure I can find a way. I'm sure it is possible. Somehow, some way. At the very least, you can always kick people out of NATO. I know how to do that. I've done it many times before. Um, <laughs> um right. Uh, yes, we've got our guns together. That's all well and good. It's just... The research is going to take quite a while, but you're not going anywhere. Let's let's see what resources I build. And right, we extract, but we export a lot of um, tungsten and steel. Yes, there's a fair bit of that. It's all over the place. Uh, so we don't really want to uh, do all that, do we? Want to keep our resources for ourselves. These uh, will take 20th of April 2017. Damn, we are so far behind on this game start. It's like a year and a half old now. This is crazy. Because we're nearly through with 2017. We're in October. Late October. This is crazy. Crazy. What is my total population in Ustia? Total population is 8.53 million. And is it growing? Excellent. Ah, heavily regulated borders, not regulated enough, I'm afraid. But the only ideological focus is coming through nicely enough. I'm sure we'll have, uh, we'll have some great fun when that arrives. I'll uh, apologize in advance when I do have to mute myself and such. I'm currently going through wisdom teeth. They're growing. It's constantly numbing my mouth. I got a uh, an oral gel, and it's I don't I just I just I have to mute myself every so often. It's just part of it. Ah, but yeah, my uh, my tooth fit uh, really hurts. The bottom left one, top two are already through, but I couldn't put off recording any any longer. So uh, yeah, I just. Here I am, with uh, a tooth cutting through my flesh. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure you, uh, I'm sure you care immensely for this, uh, for this news. So here we are. We're currently playing as Christian Khan. We are part of the uh, SPU. I'm sure that's how the uh, that's pronounced, SPU. And uh, the FPU, uh, the Heinz fellow here is reactionary. He's our biggest competitor. We also have the conservatives who are under the command of a Reinhold Mitterheimer. And yes, our focus has come through. So we want to go down national strength, I believe, because we want to go down the path of order towards monarchism. So we'll go ahead and uh, select that straight away. We'll decrease our stability, but whatever. We also have an idea we could take. Could we hire a guy? We hire a monarchist gentleman, perhaps. That's not really useful, is it? Whereas we can take something else later. Exports. Um, description. We already have ex. We have officers and such. Other fellows, theorists. Ah, popularity. These are natural circumstances. Your country is now of a population growth. High stability, we have uh, popularity reactionary. 
So you drift towards these other parties, eh? Influences. So we can't actually take any of these things. They're just there to look pretty. Okay, well, who else is there we, we have around here? An environmentalist. Somebody who builds shit. Captain of industry, construction speed. Excellent. We'll take him. We'll take this guy and he'll help us build these things a bit a bit faster, not terribly fast, but a bit a bit faster. It'll be a, a great help, I'm sure. Now we just uh Alright, we do have some guns generated excellence, but we need to save up uh Oh is is uh, oh good it is is only one division point to change action so we'll go ahead and we'll get some nice mountaineer soldiers we'll get them some uh, support equipment when I have enough access and such it we it'll be great luckily enough we have 500 convoys maybe we could use them as a wall just 500 convoys along the German border oh well, we are we are German ourselves Austria maybe we should be calling them the Deutschland Deutsch the Deutsch Deutsch Dishes, dishes. Yeah, Austria it has cultural differences to Germany, but then Germany has cultural differences within itself. You saw their election recently. It was very divided between East and West. The East, where all the foreigners go, voted for the party who said, hey, we're not going to fly to your foreigners. Whereas the West, who doesn't deal with that, voted for the party that invited all of the foreigners. It is crazy how these things work out. <laughs> the guys who have to live with consequences of the actions vote against it, whereas those who, those who don't, they vote with it. I'm not implying that uh, the German election was based around one particular thing, but I think a country of 80 million people importing 1 million people is sort of, uh, it's sort of a major thing. I'm sure it was at the forefront of German politics. I'm sure the people were very much considering it after Angela Merkel decided who needs borders with the third world? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the German. Yeah, we, we, the Germans, we don't need no border with the third world. What is this? What is this? Oh. Ah, Germany. So I have, uh, I have friends from Germany. I have friends from around the Frankfurt area. I have friends from around uh, the uh, Hamburg area. I have friends from the more Saxon area around around here. I mean, I am uh, I am from uh, this place, so I do have DNA from this place as well. I also have DNA from. I have DNA from around here, I have DNA from around here, I have DNA from over here, over here, around here. Not so much around here. But my family is from somewhere around this tile here. It's called Luton. It's no longer English. I do not recommend going there. It is the highest exporter of ISIS fighters in the entirety of the United Kingdom. It's crazy. But my family saw sense. They didn't stay around. They moved around this part of Wessex. And then me myself, I've I actually don't live there. I live uh, I live over here. I exported myself over here. What? Why is Cape Breton? Why is why is the dot there? Surely, the capital of Cape Breton is a place over here called Sydney. And the second most popular place I think is Port Hawkesbury down here. Might be Louisdale over or St Peter's over here. It's not Badek over there. And that part there, that's probably. Uh, What's that? That might be like shitty camp, the French part, the shitty camp. And me, I'm I'm from uh, around around here. You know, I doubt any fucker's gonna come over and stalk me. Um, I drove around. I drove 14 hours in one day. I drove from here all the way down to here. Around here, that took a few hours. I had to go all the way over here, all the way around here, all the way down along here, around this area here, and up. I did it all in one day. It was about 600 miles or 1,000 km. I had to renew my um, my visa. I was would be kicked out for being an illegal immigrant, and I wouldn't want to do that, would I? I wouldn't want to give Justin Trudeau an excuse to to build a wall or some shit. <laughs> I would uh, 
I would not want to be an illegal immigrant. So I went into Maine, I renewed my visa, but I uh, couldn't be fucked to drive all the way home, so I drove another few hours to uh, Bangor. Oh, it's on the map, lovely. I have family around here. And uh, one of the schools, uh, Maine, if you if you um, if you know about the, the main uh, main area, there's a school. It's called Wells. Um, it was recently accused of racism. Who would imagine? And <laughs> and uh, there was actually uh, somebody got offended because they were they were painted themselves as Indian warriors, like the Wells Indians. They they painted themselves as Indians, and someone's like, ah, this is this was racist. I am all offended. And then one of the ex students. Uh, wrote in an on anonymous letter like, this is bullshit, this ain't racism, we have pride in our culture. Yeah, that anonymous student is related to me. <laughs> she's uh, she's uh, like a second cousin of mine. And she wrote in this letter, anonymous, anonymous. Oh, that's fucking funny. But yeah, um, if you're in, if you're in uh, Maine and you heard about that racist school, yeah, it's... Uh, it was just some parent getting... It was like a football game. Somebody went over there and they were like pissed off. Like, what? You painted yourself as Indians? No. And uh, yeah, it's some news article place. Thought, yeah, we, we could roll with this story. This won't make us look stupid. And in the end, it made them look a bit stupid. But my cousin read out a very nice, nicely worded letter. It was a very well, well worded letter. Of all these words and things like I take great pride in my school. So we have 60 odd points now that might just be enough to justify we'll go on these guys who are guaranteed by the Swiss. To do that will take me 260 days, 280 days, I mean. Their army is approximately nothing, but the Swiss army is 7 to 11 divisions. We do not have 7 to 11 divisions. We need more guns. So. We're gonna go here, we're gonna make these guys a bit stronger. Lucky enough, I do have a mod on to make it a bit cheaper. Yes, I know. Ah, cheating, cheating. And uh, we're gonna see how many guns we have left after that. Minus a thousand. Okie dokie then. Now, let's, let's not invade just yet. Let's wait a bit longer. But I probably won't record the next session. I'll keep going through this focus tree and building stuff. And when we come back, we'll be ready. We'll have a bit of an army. We'll be ready to invade Liechtenstein and Switzerland. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like. So that I know you appreciate it. And comment about whatever nonsense I spoke. And if you really do want to, give me money on Patreon. Oh, yes. I'll see you guys, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, sorry about the constant muting and such. Wisdom teeth. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Goodbye.